In a tranquil village nestled among rolling hills, there lived a wise teacher named Haruki. His teachings were like gentle ripples in a pond, spreading wisdom and serenity among all who listened. However, as time went on, his classes grew in number and his modest cottage no longer provided enough space for his eager students. One day, a kind-hearted merchant named Kaito, who hailed from the bustling city of Hanami, heard of Haruki's need for larger quarters. Without a second thought, Kaito decided to contribute a significant sum of money to aid in the construction of a more spacious school. He embarked on a journey to the village carrying a chest filled with a hundred sparkling gold coins. Upon his arrival, Kaito was ushered into Haruki's presence. Esteemed teacher, Kaito began, I have brought forth a humble offering of a hundred gold coins known as Koban to support the expansion of your teachings. Haruki gazed at Kaito with a serene smile. Your generosity knows no bounds, Kaito, he said, accepting the chair. Kaito, though pleased by Haruki's words, couldn't help but feel a twinge of disappointment. He had anticipated a grander reaction, a more elaborate show of gratitude. Teacher Kaito hesitated. These hundred koban, while a modest sum for someone of my trade, can significantly contribute to your noble court. Haruki's eyes twinkled like stars in the night sky. Kaito, he replied gently, your gift is like a fragrant breeze that touches every corner of my heart. In the quiet depths of gratitude, words often become unnecessary. Kaito left the village with a heart, both warmed by Haruki's words and still carrying a whisper of unfulfilled expectation. He contemplated the lesson hidden within the interaction. Returning to Hanami, he shared the story of his encounter with a close friend named Mei, a philosopher who often delved into the intricacies of life's mystery. Kaito Mei began, the exchange between you and Haruki holds a profound truth. The depth of gratitude isn't measured by the words spoken, but by the intention and sincerity behind the giving. In the silence of your gift, you offered more than gold. You offered a piece of your heart. In time, Kaito came to understand the essence of Mir's words. Gratitude, he realized, wasn't a mere transaction of words, but a sentiment that flowed silently between souls. Inspired by this revelation, Kaito returned to the village to continue his support for Haruki's teachings, this time with a heart free from expectation and a spirit full of understanding. And so the village continued to thrive with Haruki's teachings, and Kaito's contributions played a significant role in the expansion of the school. The wisdom of Haruki's lessons, combined with the lesson Kaito learned about the true nature of gratitude, became a harmonious symphony that resonated through the hearts of all who sought knowledge and inner peace. In the end, it wasn't the extravagant gestures that mattered most, but the sincerity and intention behind them. Like the gentle breeze that rustles through the trees, the power of giving and receiving flowed effortlessly when hearts were open and free from attachment to outcome. And in this quiet exchange, life's most profound lessons were woven, teaching that true value lay not in what was given, but in the intention behind the gift and the gratitude within the heart.